Buongiorno e ciao a tutti. I'm Aaron, your instructor here at 99 Problemi. Today I have a lesson for you on il genere dei nomi, which is the gender of nouns. And I will be looking at uh, noun endings and their relationship to uh, gender. And there is a brief exercise at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. Uh, there are two kinds of gender in Italian, that's masculine and feminine. You'll see that's very similar to other Romance languages like the Spanish and the French. Uh, there is no neuter, uh, for those of you coming from Latin backgrounds. Um, inevitably, because the terms are masculine and feminine, students are going to be drawing comparisons with uh, grammatical gender and conceptions of natural gender, but there are sometimes intersections of this sort, uh, such as boy, ragazzo, and ragazza uh, for girl. But uh, while there's sometimes a connection, uh, it usually doesn't hold true when the words are, say, more abstract or just there's no inherent natural gender to the terms. Take, for instance, giorno e notte. Giorno is day and is masculine. Notte is night and it's feminine. So there's little gender inherent in both of those objects. They're both parts of the day and they have different genders. So don't look for too much logic when dealing with the intersection of grammatical gender and natural gender. That said, nouns in Italian fall into three major categories and the categories are defined by the following terminations. If, it's math, if the word is masculine, like ragazzo or libro, you have an O ending. That's simple. If it's a feminine word, it's going to end in an A, like ragazza or mella. And then, to add a slight element of confusion to people who are unfamiliar with Italian, there's a class of nouns that end in E. And these can be either masculine or feminine, such as classe or pane or cane. And these are very common, as common as the words ending in O and A. As with all language, there are exceptions to any rule that you put down, or most rules for that matter. So just be aware that there are always exceptions lurking. Uh, for instance, a brief example would be uh, la mano in Italian. La mano is the word for hand, and it is uh, simply mano. You would think, oh, it ends in an O, so it must be masculine, but it actually is feminine in nature. And conversely, the word poet or problema ends in an A, uh, and so you would think it was feminine, and often people fall into that trap, but in fact, problema poeta, they're masculine. So keep that in mind. Those are the uh, the mini minority of words uh, that apply to that. And we won't be dealing with those at this point in this beginner lesson. So let's go on to the exercises. All right, so this first one is to sort the nouns into the categories of masculine, feminine, or non si sa. One doesn't know. So maschile, femminile, and non si sa. At this point, you're going to pause the video and write the words down, remembering which word endings go with which gender. And we're back, and hopefully this is the response that you got. And this is a pretty straightforward early beginning exercise, so hopefully that's what you have. Now what you do is you've got two masculine, two feminine words, and then a bunch of non si sa's because they all end in E. Well, the next thing that you have to do is look up the non si sa words. So where is pesce? Where is cane? If they end in E and they're singular, you have no idea what their gender is. 
So go find a dictionary or look them up online. And when you're done, come on back and I'll tell you where these go. And hopefully you have the following answers. Okay, and there are some uh, ways to remember some of these. For instance, uh, words like fiore, words that end in O-R-E, are generally masculine. Uh, and over on the uh, f feminine side there, the ione at the end of occasione uh, is a signpost that something will be uh, feminine. Ione is usually feminine. Condizione, any zione words usually. At any rate, I hope you found that useful, this beginning exercise on gender in Italian. And we'll hopefully see you back here really soon if you want to follow me on Twitter at 99 Problemi or uh, find me on Facebook at 99 Problemi. Um, there's also a companion website at uh, 99problemi.com. Okay? Grazie.